Welcome back everybody, Cody McIntyre here from Boss Poses 3D and today I am going to be presenting to you all Fixamo number 2, okay? So, if you notice up here in the panel after I install the add-on, we're going to have our uh, Fix-It button that we had originally in uh, Fixamo 1. It was just this panel and I'm glad everybody uh, had that well received. So, I decided to make this a little bit more robust, so I did some more updates on Fix-It to bring it up to date. It works a little bit better, it's a little bit quicker doing its... Uh, calculations and whatnot and we added some new buttons like physics and stuff adding gravity and stuff so we're gonna go over that here really shortly but first what we're gonna do is get a little quick animation going I'm gonna be showing you guys how to combine the animations okay so I got my Mixamo rig in now and if you notice when I play the rig that he is moving we want to eliminate all of that motion path other than the Z so all I have to do is click the fix it button and now if you notice that the animation is set okay so now I can just copy the keyframes that were already here, just like fix them all one, and just paste them over here without using the NLA editor. And we can just keyframe the position of the movement later on. But as you see, we got a running animation. There's a little bit of stutters. We can go in and clean that up. But just for the uh, sake of the tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to combine another animation and then save it because I've added a save animation button here for you so you can export your FXP animations and just re-import them once you customize it because there's cool things you can do with uh, the updated version of Fixmo, so Fixmo 2 is that you can actually uh, select certain bones in pose mode and delete them and copy those certain bone paths over <clears throat> into your new armature and then you can have like say uh, this just running animation turns to a run and punch animation but just to get things started I'm gonna go into my uh, import FBX I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find something else so in this case I want let's say uh, running and jump some kind of thing like that punch to elbow combo running and jumping so we got a run animation here. We got to bring this all the way back to zero so we can see it. And again, we got to hit the fix button. And if you notice, both animations are going to be playing stationary in place. I'm going to come into the timeline, hit copy, go over into my next animation, the, our original one, and then I'm going to paste the frames there. Now what I can actually do is delete the one that we just imported. That way we're just left with uh, just the standard one we had before. So now if you see, we got the uh, triple run and a jump animation. And what I can actually do is come down into here and then copy those and make that even further but I'm going to show you how to rebind that really quickly so I will be providing also characters in the bundle so I'll have a Deadpool one and a Wolverine one for you that is um so this add-on does work with XPS, FPX and all that in case people are wondering so let's get retargeting you're going to use Rococo's free add-on right there everybody knows about this just download it for free we're going to get our source armature we're going to set that to the one we just created and then we're going to set this to Deadpool. Now you're probably wondering, okay, well, I want to save this animation out first. All you have to do is click Save Animation, Export that FBX, then Import it next time, and you can just go right from where we're starting right now. So it's a lot of fun to go in early and just create new animations. But So let's build our bone list. And if you notice that it retargets everything a lot more accurately than the original fix mode because I did try using this on this model so this is working really well and we're going to retarget our animation. We might have to push Deadpool over a little bit to the side but he should be okay running right there. And now if we play it back you got a Deadpool running animation and then what I can actually do is kind of just go into my render settings. Again, he's got a little bit of a hiccup there. We can go in and clean that up sometime whenever we need to. We can even go into cycles and render that out if we really want it. So the next thing we're probably going to have to do is get the root motion back into our character. So what I always do is just, while I'm in object mode, click the armature. We're going to uh, zoom out on the timeline. I'm going to come down to 1. I'm going to set a keyframe for up here. And now you see the animation starts playing right there. And as he's running, we want him to, right before he starts to jump, and we can uh, leave the auto keyframe on, push him forward just a little bit. Now he should be running backwards. And we can make him go a little bit faster here. See, now we got our little bit of a Deadpool animation going right here. We got our uh, a Y motion and all that good. So we're pretty much good to go for making renders and stuff. So now I can show you the rest of the Fixamo buttons here. So what we actually have now is some uh, make cubes and solids and planes. So if I make a plane, we can just add a ground really quick to our scene. 
right? So now we have a ground for our character. Now he's running on the ground. Now I can add a cube and I can move this over. So the, another cool thing that I added to the add-on is if I click the plane and then I set a passive gravity and then I click the cube and then I add an active gravity. So passive will just be locked floating, but we'll have a collider and this will be uh, active gravity and that should fall when we restart the simulation from zero. And if you see now we got physics in our scene with our animation and that only took probably about four minutes to do. And again, if we combined our animations, it would just be a matter of importing them, targeting them, and just pushing the position over. And then what we can actually do now is go in and get a camera. So I'm going to get my camera. I have mine set to insert so I can move it around like a first-person shooter. It's going to be a little bit laggy right now. But if I zoom in, you don't want that keyframe there, so make sure you start the camera on frame zero, of course, or one, sorry. And now we can move that. And as he moves past the camera, we can pull the camera back. I want more of a body motion like that. And now when we play it back, you should see that the camera is now keyframed with our animation, right? So we just pretty much made one scene without having to use the NLA editor. And what I can actually do is go into cycles mode and we can play our animation through. It's pretty cool, eh? Not bad at all. And we can actually go back. We can even add HDRIs from other things. And we got cubes. We can make things solid. So if I wanted to add thickness to this plane, I can do that. We also have a weight painting mode. So if I go into click something and I click weight paint, we can go right into weight painting and then you click it again and you're on. So I hope you all like today's tutorial on how to use Fixamo 2. You can pick this up on ArtStation, uh, Blender Market at Boss Poses 3D, or you can message me directly at facebook.com slash Boss Poses 3D there. And thank you all for tuning in today's video, and I'll talk to you all soon. Have a good day.